Let's expand a little bit on the concept of phrasing in music, starting with language, speaking. Let's say you have a good ear, a good ear for language. Now that's a good place to start, isn't it? So I'm going to read a page from my book, From Piano to Puccini, subtitled about a heart for music. So I slowed that down to uh, Adagio and, okay, moving right along. I am just going to briefly read from, I could read anything here, page 44, staff members. We're looking for phrasing. This might not be the best example. Here, here's a sentence. Class officers elected. On April 24th, 1985, the Central Planning Committee announced the election of the following students as class officers for the 1985 academic year. Okay, sports fans, how many phrases did you hear? If you heard four or five phrases, melodic reading, speaking, coming alive. I'm just going to add here, Sheryl Crow said in a recent interview that music evoked a physical response. Well, it does. I mean, because, why, why, because we're human. So, what she was talking about was performing as a musician. So if you consider yourself to be a musician who wants to improve, wants to expand upon your current knowledge and interpretation of the music you hear or that you read, that you desire to play, I suggest that you give a little time to phrasing. The music might not even have the phrase, it's a line, a curve. This is usually found in classical music. So if there are lyrics to the song that you want to play or are, or are actually playing, over and over again, this is good. Look at the lyrics, move your body. This is a good way, this is a good place to begin. Don't just sit stiffly at the keyboard, everything stiff, arms stiff, fingers, hands, back, whatever it takes. Move your body and understand phrasing as it is written as as you hear it when you read out loud these lyrics you have to read it read the lyrics out loud good luck